So guys, thanks for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender. So alright, today I'm going against Sean the Red Hood. He's a French guy who actually been a part of my stream for some time. Very good player. Uh, he's very good with defensive pokes. That is, he's using defensive pokes as physical attackers and uh, just being very creative with his team. I always have a tough time going up against him and last time we went against each other I actually lost. I barely lost, but I did lose. Um, he has some trouble with my team because I'm using pokes not the way they're supposed to, though this team is rather predictable, only being auxiliary, being somewhat cool. Uh, anyway, uh, introducing his team here. Sysmetoad, you know, going to be tough to deal with. Stel Steelix, very tough too. I'm going to have trouble against the Vault Plume because I don't have an Ice Move on my team and the Flamethrower just going to go from my Slurp up really, which is weak to it with the Sludge Bomb and all. And Shift Tree, Granbull, and Kangaskhan. No idea what they're up about. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, just a little quick announcement with how this battle actually went through. Uh, I actually got a very early lead here in the beginning. And, um, you know, I thought I was going to be able to hold it up. But um, Sean is a very good player, and it turned out to be a close battle because of it. So you know what? I shouldn't rebel anymore. Let's actually get to the game. So actually, in the beginning here, I actually start off with Kangaskhan. I myself start with Octillery. I just wanted anything coming in to be paralyzed. Um, look at that name, Minerva. I know that name. <laughs> so anyway, um, the Fega doesn't do anything really. And he will actually decide to switch out, uh, knowing that I actually gone for a Thunder Wave. So, good prediction on his side actually. And uh, he did not know Octillery usually run an Energy Ball. So he's gonna set up the Stealth Rocks and he's gonna get uh, punched. So I did expect him to switch out and I knew a Flamethrower would probably in the range where I actually could have taken it out. Uh, so I actually decided to switch out and it's really gonna suck for him because and me, I mean damn it, I actually hurt the Steelix. So Flamethrower will do well over half. Well, well, well over half. That is, what is that, 80% maybe? So yeah, that is Steelix out of the way and yeah, that really sucks. So anyway, he's gonna go into shift right now. I actually decided to, you know what? I could probably, you know, get this thing thunder waves, uh, you know, uh, setting up its speed. Um, seeing that he went to Giga Rain, I actually thought he didn't carry the um, sucker punch. Uh, silly me, really, because they next <laughs> to what he does. And I, oh, I was not sure I could pull off a flame throw there, so I pretty much uh, wasted my shoulder in vain. I go into Pharaoh here. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a safe move, which is a drill pack. He's gonna bring in his Gramble, and um, you know what? I could have, you know, wished for maybe a critical hit to break through it, but you know, that obviously would never go in a t where range of a two-hit KO. So I'm forced to switch out, switch into Rex, and um, he has the Thunder Wave, and I should definitely have expected that um, because now, obviously, my gut is activated, sure, but I'm slow. So it hardly matters. So here we go, direct for close combat and finish my eradicate. Uh. <laughs> oh, I just sacked that one. So really bad play on my part. A really good play actually on my opponent's part here. So we're going to Scyther. Um, there's really nothing um, he can do here. So I'm just gonna go for an hour head. He did expect that. I'm gonna sack off to Amparo. Um, knowing that I should probably have gone for rock polish, but you know I didn't want to be hit by a superpower. Uh, so new Minerva's coming in here. Uh, he's going for the fake out. I've decided to stay in because it is the resisted damage. And he has the drain punch. I did not expect that. I did survive barely. And to get him the rock slide off is not in the range of killing, sadly. And I decided to sack my Ramper Dolls, consider that uh, I have no range of actually switching out, consider that Stealth Rock will actually take me out there. So anyway, going to my Slurp up here. I actually decided to go for a Coal Mine. That return did way over what I thought I was gonna do. Um, so yeah, really, really annoying. No, I actually decided to go for Destiny Leaf, sorry. I should have gone for a Calm Mind. Or no, not really. So anyway, this is somewhat of a stalemate. Since my Unburden is activated, I have no reason to actually switch out. Um, so sadly for me, I actually hoped that he would switch out. So I went for Flamethrower. I'm not entirely sure Destiny Leaf would have killed. Uh, but it wouldn't have mattered because he still had the combination with the Kangaskhan being with both uh, Fake Out and Sucker Punch. So yeah, I am somewhat in a bad position. He'll decide to switch uh, to uh, sack that one because he had no reason to use it anymore. And 
here comes the Valplume, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't want to switch into my Pharaoh, being hit by a Sludge Bomb, and... This is basically it. I... <laughs> Ah, I did so many like bad plays there, and I just decided to, you know, <laughs> I might as well get this one burn and get a safe switch into my Pharaoh. I know Pharaoh can take out anything in his team, so I actually feel rather glad about that. Um, so finish off my lands, and I actually get the burn, <laughs> which is kind of nice, I guess, because at least it doesn't recover that much this turn. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Lantern! <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna switch in rather safely here to my... Uh, to my Pharaoh. And, uh, you know, with the Stealth Rock damage being there, I kinda realized that... You know... I can't win this. Kangaskhan got that combination with both Fake Out and uh, Sucker Punch. And in the end, I will not have any chance of dealing with this guy. So this is GG, Red Hood. I can't believe you won against me again. You know, with that early lead I got, you know, I should definitely have played very differently than I did. And uh, but the win for you is really fair, and you actually deserved it. So yeah, this was actually kind of a weird game because, you know, watching this battle again, I actually realized that I might have played really wrong here. I did the great predictions there in the beginning of the game. And I just stopped doing it. You know, I got so comfortable once the liquid was gone with my artillery that I just... I started to be very, very predictable and sacking up po pokes left and right. I should definitely have killed the Kangaskhan while I had the chance. Uh, you know, used Lantern or whatever really. Uh, instead of using my slurp up that way because that really stopped me from actually being able to deal with this team. Um, you know, like I said, there he did deserve this win. Yeah, when you play like I did, uh, you actually you deserve to lose because you can't predict and then just stop doing it. Um, it doesn't work like that. And um, I paid a high price for it. Uh, but you shout out to Red Hood. He's a very good player, and I'm actually glad I got to challenge you again. Uh, and anyway, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, right? <laughs> Anyway guys, like I said, th thank you for watching and take care, alright? Bye.